Hi, my name is Nathaniel Reed, Doctor of Physical Therapy at Kernan Physical Therapy in Fort Worth, Texas. Today I want to talk to you about different types of headaches and some of the potential treatments for those type of headaches. So let's start with the classification. So we have primary and secondary classification. And under the primary uh, classification we have migraine, tension, and cluster. And primary is usually categorized for the symptoms. And then we have secondary, and under the secondary classification we have cervicogenic, and then we have TMJ or jaw-related headaches. And secondary classification is usually classified by the underlying structure or cause. So let's start off with migraines. So migraines are usually caused by swelling inside or outside of the brain. And so as you can see here, we have arteries that go all throughout the outside of the skull and brain, and you can see some of them going up into the brain there. And so when these arteries are irritated, they have nerves on the outside of those arteries, which then release chemicals and cause swelling. Now, depending on where that swelling takes place will determine what kind of symptoms you have. So some people have migraines with where they see light, and then sometimes they have migraines where they don't see light. Uh, would be a good example of that. So next let's move on to tension headaches. Tension headaches are caused by muscular tension and so a lot of times you can get them in different parts, different parts of the skull depending on uh, the actual uh, muscle that's involved. So you can get them in the back, you can get them in the back, the side, the front, and even into the jaw. Now the, the reason why for the tension uh, is determined by the therapist and um, sometimes it's trauma that causes some of that tension or it can be repetitive strain like if somebody has to sit at a computer for many hours that can over exert those muscles or if you have a pillow that does not support your head those can cause issues uh, and then um, even some of the cellular, cellular devices that we use can cause issues so when we're looking at this particular uh, picture, you'll see that um, whenever we're at normal posture or zero, we have the normal weight of the head, which is about 10 to 12 pounds. And as we increase flexion by 15 degrees as we go up, you'll see that the, the forces that go through the neck also increase. When you have your body's not built for these increased pressures, and the muscles can't handle it, so they get overworked and overexerted. So most of the time people, if, especially if it's a cell phone, will find themselves in one of these last three categories here. Now let's move on to cluster headaches. Now cluster headaches, um, they're, they're extremely rare and they also um, are extremely painful. And so cluster headaches, what we do know about them is that they are caused by barometric pressure um, and there's some other reasons as well. They have dietary issues and so on, stress. Um, but one of the main reasons is, is the barometric pressure that goes through the skull and brain. And you see here we have these little lines here. And these are actually joints that connect all the different bones together to make up your skull. Now, whenever, whenever those joints are offline, you can get swelling and then cause pressure that can go through the brain or skull and then cause your headache. So for an example, we have a sphenoid bone here. And as you can see, this one's kind of connected to a little bit of everywhere. So when we look at it by itself, it's rather large, the sphenoid bone. It's actually the cornerstone. It's kind of the central piece to the brain and skull. And the brain actually sits right here on this side. And so if any of those areas are irritated around it, it can definitely cause some issues and cause some of those headaches. All right, let's move on to cervicogenic headaches. Cervicogenic headaches are usually caused um, back here by uh, C0, C1, and C2. These are just names for each of these vertebrae. And C0, of course, is your skull. And so you have a nerve known as the greater occipital nerve here. And this particular this particular nerve, when it's irritated, it can either it can it can cause uh, visual issues. It can cause sound sensitivity. 
and it can also cause nausea. So some of the ways that it gets irritated because um, one of these top joints in the neck here are off line or you can have some of the suboccipital muscles located here that irritate it and then cause some of those issues and then you even have other muscles that lie on top of it that can also irritate it and then call that condition occipital neuralgia. Then we'll move on to TMJ. Now your TMJ is your jaw joint so when we look at your jaw joint you can see that here and what happens is there's a facial nerve a facial nerve that actually causes irritation in some of the muscles so when we're looking here when we're looking here at this facial nerve you can see that the facial nerve goes to all the different nerves that help us chew I'm sorry to all the different muscles that help us chew and so it, whenever uh, that nerve is irritated it can cause issue in that muscle in that particular muscle and cause um, pain in other areas and give you that tension uh, headache type feeling and so you can see some of the muscles that are a part of that or one this would be the uh, temporalis muscle and you can see how it goes to the jaw here and helps us chew and then you also have uh, masseter muscle which is this one here and then there's some other muscles deep beneath here medial and lateral pterygoid that can also cause issues and again they, it sends pain from one area to the other now some of the uh, possible treatments that are available out there um, there are a lot of them that we can do as part of our headache program now we just briefly showed you some of the causes of different types of headaches um, but there's a lot more to it a lot of times you can even have two types of headaches together you can have a tension headache that turns into a migraine headache and you can have a number of different causes causing these so you need a thorough exam to determine what treatments are best for you so some of the treatments out there we have one thing something called dry needling which uses a very thin needle that you can it's so thin you can bar, uh, barely feel it going in and what it does is it uh, releases blood and opioids to those muscles to relax the muscle and then uh, you we have something called nasoskeletal release and that's a little balloon device that goes in and tries to align some of those um, some of those bones that I was showing you that when we talked about barometric pressure and that's a very powerful treatment and we're the only ones in the DFW that are doing that treatment right now and then you have uh, manual therapy so we use hands-on techniques that can help align things and get muscles to relax then we have spinal decompression that can help uh, st stretch the muscles and release the nerves and then we have something called kinesio tape which is a stretchy type tape that uh, that you put on your uh, you can put on your neck or uh, skull and what it can do is you can uh, decrease uh, tension correct posture and even you can uh, decrease swelling with it and you can leave it on f for a few days so it's, it's really good to start with kinesio tape at the beginning of the treatment depending on the individual and then we have cold laser and ultrasound that we can either use for bringing heat to relax muscles or we can use um, it to decrease swelling as well and then we have postural correction that we can we have a lot of different techniques to help people keep their posture even when they're not thinking about it and then we have diet nutrition education that will help people that have certain dietary triggers and then work and home ergonomics is important for how is your desk space supposed to be set up how many inches away is your uh, your monitor is supposed to be and then for at home the way you sleep is important in a number of other positions um, and then we have then we have stress and breathing techniques to help relax the muscles and give you plenty of techniques at home to hopefully uh, decrease the tension in those muscles and you'll be able to handle it at home and then we have of course therapeutic exercise and stretches that can also help relax those muscles so if you'd like more information on some of those treatments, you can see us at kernanphysicaltherapy.com or you can give us a call at 817-923-9000.
and you're more than welcome to call and, and talk to a therapist about uh, some potential uh, treatments that might be able to help you out. Thank you for your time. You have a wonderful day.